Hello. Um, we're going to do a one point perspective cityscape. And all you're going to need for this project is a nice pencil, a nice sharp pencil, so you might want to keep your sharpener handy, that has a nice eraser, or you have a separate eraser, um, that's fine too, and a good ruler, and a triangle. Now if you don't have a triangle, you can make your own by using a piece of cardstock. Cardstock is a little thicker paper, because you want it to be a little rigid so that you can actually use it as a triangle. So I'm taking my cardstock. This is some old photo paper that I have that's nice and thick. And then I drew a line from the corner to the opposite corner. And I'm just gonna cut out my triangle. And I'm not using this slope edge. I'm gonna use the right angle, the vertical and the horizontal edge. So if that line isn't exactly perfect, that's fine. So I got it pretty good. So I can use this for my triangle if I need to. But um, if you have a triangle, it's best to use that and it's a good investment. So the first thing we're gonna do when we start our project is we're going to find the horizon line. So the horizon line tells us where the ground and the sky come together. So it's gonna be somewhere in the center of your paper. I'm gonna take the bottom of my triangle here and line it up on the side of my paper. And then I'm gonna draw a line from one side to the other. Now you are, um, I want you to draw light so you can erase because we're going to do a lot of erasing as we go. And then, so this is my horizon line. So that is where the ground meets the sky and where we see our line where they come together. Now I'm going to do, draw my vanishing point. So a vanishing point is that point which everything vanishes from sight. So it's the furthest spot the eye can see. If you imagine yourself standing on a railroad track looking down, looking way off in the distance, the, tr the track lines would eventually get smaller and smaller and smaller, closer and closer together until they turned into a dot. And then at that point, they vanish from your sight. And that's why we call that the vanishing point. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make my sidewalk lines, two sidewalk lines. So I'm gonna put my ruler or my triangle on the dot so I can use my triangle here, I can use my ruler on the vanishing point. I don't want a street that's too big. So I'm gonna draw a line from one side and then I'm gonna pivot to the right a little bit. And then I'm gonna pivot to the right about the thickness of the sidewalk and then I'm gonna pivot to the right on this side about the thickness of the sidewalk. So now this is gonna be one sidewalk, my street, my sidewalk. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a, a building on this side of my street. So I'm gonna, again, take the time to align. It's so important that you take the time to align the bottom of the triangle with the bottom edge of the paper. So I'm doing that. Then I'm gonna bring a line up, about not quite to the center of the paper. And then I'm gonna take my triangle to the side of the paper. So I just simply flipped my triangle to the side of the paper. I like the triangle too because you can see through it, but if I was using this one triangle that I made, again, I wanna make sure I line that up there and then it's harder for me to see through the triangle. So like I said, if you wanna invest in a nice um, triangle, that would be a good idea. I'm gonna bring that one all the way down to the side. Okay, so now I have the front of my first building and it faces forward, faces me. I could have brought it down to from here if I wanted to not see the whole thing. But I'm gonna keep it going right off my paper here. All right, so now I'm gonna bring my corner to the vanishing point because I wanna take this and make it three-dimensional. Actually, I am gonna bring a line down right here. Then I'm gonna erase this. Okay, now I'm gonna take my triangle, the, the top corners and I'm going to take um, those corners to the vanishing point. So one here and then one here. Now it looks like I have a never ending building that goes all the way back to that horizon line, horizon line, like a really long factory. So my next step is that I need to find the back of that first building. So do, to do that, I'm going to use my trusty triangle again. So I'm gonna take the triangle to the side of the paper. It doesn't matter if I go start from the side and do the top first, or I go to the bottom and do the side first. It doesn't matter, one or the other. So I'm gonna take my triangle to the bottom of the paper, 
And then I'm gonna draw a line from the side of the build, top side to the bottom side. And then I'm gonna take my triangle to the side of the paper, so it's even here, and I'm gonna bring it right down to this intersection I created. And then I'm gonna bring a line right to the other side of my building. And then, this is gonna be the top of my first building, the side of the building that faces the street, the side of the building that faces me. So now what I'm gonna do is erase those top lines, because those are not part of my building. And now you're gonna see why it's important for you to draw lightly, because I'm drawing dark enough so you guys can see this in a video, but I'm gonna have a really hard time erasing that line. All right, so that's my first building, success. Now I'm gonna make another building next to this one. So I'm gonna take my triangle right to the bottom of the paper again, even. Then from the corner, I'm gonna come up. This time I'm gonna make a short building, a little shorty building. So I'm just bringing that corner up just a little bit, and then I can come from the corner here. I could come from the corner, I could come past the corner, I could come in from the corner a little bit, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna come in from the corner a little bit, line this up so I can flip it this way or that way. If I go this way, I have more of my triangle on my paper. So I can see a little bit better. Then I'm gonna bring another line up. Now I have to find the top of the second building. So what I'm not gonna do is just connect from one side to the other, because it might not be straight. I mean, I've got that pretty even, but I've been doing this a long time. The most important thing to do is to take the base of the triangle to the side of your paper. And then I'm gonna draw a line from one side to the other. Then I'm gonna take my corners to the vanishing point. Again, this time I'm gonna draw them a little lighter because I know I'm gonna have to erase. So now it looks like I have another really long building that goes on and on forever. So what I have to do next is I have to find the side. So this time I'll start from the top first because last time I started from the side. So I'm gonna come down because I don't. I wanna have this one short too. You can do it however you want though. If you wanna have it a um, little bit longer, a little bit taller, that's fine. Then I'm gonna go from left side of the top to the right side of the top. I'm stopping when I hit that line right there. Then I'm gonna bring my triangle <clears throat> back down to the bottom of the paper. I'm gonna go from that top line down to the bottom line. Then I'm gonna erase those guidelines, right, like so. And then, now I'm gonna make one more building, and but this time it's gonna be above the horizon line. So the horizon line is like our line of sight. It's where where we can where we're seeing um, from our eyes. So what I want to do is I'm I, when I'm drawing my building, so I want to keep in mind that if a building is below the horizon line, we're gonna see the whole top of it. This one's closer to us, so the top is bigger. It's wider from here to here. This one's a little narrow, narrower because it gets a little closer to that horizon line. Now, if I once I make this next building and it's above the horizon line, then I'm not gonna see the top of the building. I'm only gonna see the edge of the top of the building. So I'm gonna come over a little bit this time because I'm gonna put a little alleyway in between these two buildings. So I didn't start just with this corner, I came over just a smidgen. And draw it up into the sky. I'm not going up too far because I don't want it to look weird and warped back there. <laughs> Maybe you do, but I don't. And then I'm gonna come make the sure that's even. And then I could go from that corner, I can come in a little bit, I'm gonna come in a little bit, I could go further out. So now, again, I'm not just connecting that top to that top because look, this is not even with this. These need to be even as you go. Then I'm gonna draw a line from top to top. I'm gonna erase this, I'm gonna erase this, and then I have to erase one more thing. And that is this center part of the horizon line that I just placed this building in front of. So we're gonna erase that. And then I am going to connect from, I have to, I've got to find my um, alleyway line here. So I'm going to see a little corner of the bottom of this building right here. So I'm taking my triangle to the side of the paper. I'm going to come up to that little intersection I made and I'm going to draw a smidgen, teeny, tiny little line right there. So just like that. 
And now to make this flat, two-dimensional um, rectangle into a three-dimensional form, I have to take my corners, remember, back to the, uh, to the vanishing point. So now this corner I'm not going to take to the vanishing point because it's back behind the building and I wouldn't see it. So now I have this huge long building again and I want to find the back of it now. So I'm going to, again, take my triangle, take the time to align, take the time to align. I'm going to take my triangle to the bottom of the paper right here. This is a pretty narrow building and I'm going to draw a line from the top down to the bottom. And then I'm going to erase, erase. I'm going to erase that guideline because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to erase my horizon line because I've set this building now in front of it. Okay, so this is pretty good for day one. If you'd like to, for your independent time for day one, you can try to do the same thing that you did on this side, on this side. So maybe make it, don't make it exactly the same, a little bit bigger, a little smaller, but try to do something similar. Um, try to do your three buildings on this side too. So I'm going to hurry up and do them. Do, do, do. So I'm going to bring a line up. This time I'm going to go right off of my paper, but I still want to make sure I've got that even. Right off my paper. And then I have to take my corners to the vanishing point. So I'm going to pretend like the edge of my paper, I ended this building like right here, if you can see that. So I'm going to go from that point, or you could just go from the edge of your paper if you want. I'm going to go right to that vanishing point again, draw light so you can erase. Then I'm going to take this corner back to the vanishing point. Now I've got my really long building. Now I want to find the top. So I'm going to take my triangle to the side of the paper, making sure it's aligned here. Take the time to align. Make sure that's aligned. I'm going to draw from one side to the other. So this building is going to be just a little bit shorter than the one on the other side. And then I'm going to bring my line straight down. Then I'm going to erase those guidelines again because you would not see them. Now you draw lightly because it's always, you can go back and darken lines, but it's really hard to go back and um, it's really hard to lighten them. Okay, now this time I want to have another little alleyway in between this building and this, the next building I'm drawing. So I'm going to come down from my sidewalk a little bit. Um, this is my sidewalk, so I'm going to come down the sidewalk a little bit. Line up the bottom of the triangle on the bottom of the paper. Make sure that's even. Take the time to align. And then I'm going to draw, again, my line up. Then I'm going to draw my line over. Decide how big I want this building to be. Let's see, I'm going to make this one go. No, I'm going to make it stop like right there. I'm going to put some other buildings here on the side. We'll do that on day two. And then, now my triangle, because I've got this camera hold it I've got something in the way you can't see so I'm going to take my little handmade little triangle here because the tip of my triangle is hitting that thing <clears throat> and then that now I have this uh, the other side of my first building now to make that two to make that three-dimensional I'm going to go back to the vanishing point both corners left corner to the vanishing point right corner to the vanishing point now I have to find the back of the building so I'll start with this, with the top this time. Last time I started with the side. So I'm taking the time to align here, drawing a line from left to right. Then I take the time to align right down here, draw from top down to bottom. Then I'm gonna erase my horizon lines. And this line looks a little bit off. Let me fix that, it's driving me crazy, actually. It's pretty good. It looks like it's off to me, but I don't think it is. All right, and now the last thing I have to do is I have to get this little sidewalk line in. So I don't know if you can tell, this one looks like it's going underground. I need to get this corner in. So this bottom of the building here sits right on the sidewalk. Now I need to get the, the alleyway in. So I'm taking the triangle to the side of the paper, and this is gonna be a short little line right there. A little teeny tiny laney laney. Now I'm gonna draw another building. I'll draw, keep another um, alleyway here, another road. Come up into the sidewalk a little bit, come over. This time I'm gonna come over. I oh, can't use that triangle. So I'm gonna use this one. It's my tools in the way. Then I'm gonna line that, take the time to align that down there. I'm gonna draw my line up. 
And then I'm gonna make sure I'm aligned over here, bottom of the triangle on the edge of the paper. Right here. And then I'm gonna erase this because you would not see it. Then I'm gonna take my triangle to the vanishing point. This time I'm gonna stop up right where I want the bottom to be so I don't have all that erasing that you're gonna see later. So now I'm just gonna take my triangle right, I'm taking my bottom of my triangle to the bottom of the paper, moving that in and going right down to my sidewalk line. Then I have to erase this. And then this is good for day one. What I'd like you to do, oh, this was the vanishing point. Don't, do, don't write this on yours. So that's the vanishing point, the dot. So whenever I'm making, trying to figure out the depth of my buildings, I wanna use that vanishing point, making sure I'm going to that. And then we started with our horizon line. So quick review. You're gonna start with your horizon line that tells you where the ground and the sky come together, ground, sky. Then you're gonna do your vanishing point. The vanishing point does not have to be exactly in the center, but I want you to actually draw a dot. That one was kinda of big. But I want you to draw a dot. Make sure you have that dot. And then you're gonna draw your sidewalk lines. Then they extend all the way down to the paper. Then you're gonna take your triangle to the base of the paper. You draw a line up, making sure to take the time to align. It's so important to do that. And then a line over. Then you take your triangles to the vanishing point. Now this time, because I know I'm gonna erase, I'm stopping right there. So I, don't, so I can keep my paper a little cleaner. Then I'm gonna take my triangle back to the bottom of the paper. Take my line down. Come over here, take my line across. Okay, so if you guys can get um, get that done today, that'll be great. So what I want you to do once you get your buildings right through your six buildings, it could be five, it could be six, next to the um, sidewalks, once you get this done, take a picture of it, turn it into Art Sonia for day one. And then every day you're gonna turn in, we're gonna take the same picture, we're gonna turn it in as you um, progress through the assignment. So good job, day one, thank you.